Oh my goodness. Okay. Hey guys, so right now I am just going to be doing a video and I'm going to do the 10 top drugstore products tag. Um, my friend Ezzy actually requested this and I know I recorded two videos before this video but I just had to go back and look at other people's videos. I have watched this video before but I didn't really know if like it asked you certain questions or not but I don't think it really did. So I'm just going to be telling you my top 10 drugstore products. Yeah, my son is crying. Okay, let me give him something to play with. Here. Okay, so I was going to talk about eyeshadows, mascaras, and bronzers. But I don't really have a favorite drugstore bronzer. I don't really have any favorite mascaras. The only mascara that I really love is a high-end one. And for eyeshadows, I love any type of eyeshadow. So I'm just going to be talking about, you will see. Just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is a primer. Um, I love this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I know it's not, I don't think it's a primer because it doesn't say it. But I use it as a primer and I really like it because it makes my face feel very soft. And it just puts my makeup on smoothly. And it covers up my pores. Um, my my pores still kind of show through, but not as big as it would without it, if that makes any sense. But I really, really do like this primer. And if you guys go to CVS or anything, I'm not sure, but a lot of people have said that it was 8 bucks. I'm not sure if that's true. But if you want it for cheap, go to Walmart because I think it's like $4.94 or something like that. That's where I picked mine up, so yeah. Um, then for concealer, my favorite concealer is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in beige and um they sell nyx at target at ulta and i think they sell it at cvs now um but it comes in a little jar like this and i really like this because it actually covers up my dark circles it doesn't crease and um yeah i really really do like this concealer it's super creamy and it's just amazing i think it's about 2.99 or 3.99 somewhere between those lines but it's a very affordable and a very great concealer and i've been having this for a while and it doesn't even seem like it's getting any lower like this comes with a lot of products how much does it come with 0.24 ounces but there's still it still lasts a long time because i've been having it for months now um, for powder, my favorite powder is the Mal Milani Face Powder. I got this from Walmart. I'm not sure if they still have it out because my mother-in-law said that they couldn't find them at Target and they couldn't find them at the Walmart. Um, but I got this from the Walmart in Anaheim and I think I've purchased it like twice. I've only purchased this one. Wait. I feel like I purchased this twice for myself, but I don't think so. Either I lost it and I repurchased it or I gave it to my mom or something like that. But I purchased one for her for sure because I she liked it. So um, I really like it. It's super soft. It makes my face look and feel like baby skin. And this powder is just amazing. Um, I do kind of get oily in my forehead and um, a little bit on my cheeks. And this just covers up the oil and it's very nice and I just love this powder like it's the best powder ever I kind of like it better than my bare minerals loose powder but my husband will kind of be upset because he got me that for Christmas but this is just my favorite powder and I love it um the next thing is eyelid primer my favorite eyelid primer is the essence I love stage eyeshadow primer I just purchased the elf eyelid primer so I'm not sure if this is gonna stay that way but as of now I do like it um I have two other primers but this one I always go to um, my eyeshadows don't crease with them. My eyeshadows stay on all day long, literally. Um, and this is just the best eyelid primer. And a lot of people do talk about this primer. So you guys should pick it up if you guys can. You could get it from Ulta. I think it's $2.99 $3.99 between those lines too. Um, I don't really remember, but it's very affordable and it's a very nice primer. Wow, thank you. I don't even know where it went. Oh my god, I went all the way down there. I'm going to have to tell my husband to get there because I don't want to touch the spider webs. Ew. Okay, um, for eyeliner, like, oh, my feet are hurting. Uh, like, eyeliner pencils. My favorite one has to be the NYC Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil in black. 
um, I have a lot of eyeliner pencils and I've used so many um, but this one is the best um, it's not really waterproof because it does smudge out I haven't ever found an eyeliner that doesn't smudge out of my waterline but um, this one's good because it's very very pigmented and it lasts a while look at that it's super pigmented and it just looks nice on your waterline I like to put it mostly in my tight line I don't wear eyeliner on my waterline often I don't think I'm wearing it today no I'm not <laughs> but I really really do like this eyeliner a lot my mom likes it too because she stole my last one but <laughs> I really love this eyeliner and then I have my liquid eyeliner um, this is my favorite eyeliner it is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner. Um, if I had to choose between this one and my favorite Jordana eyeliner pencil, I would choose this one because it's just amazing. It doesn't crease, like it doesn't go in your crease like the e.l.f. one, but I really like this e.l.f. one. This one's nice, it's just, it just creases and I just like it because it's very dark and yeah, I just like this one a lot. It looks like that. But let's just talk about my favorite. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Eyeliner. And it looks like this. And this is a $1.99 at anywhere. Um, it's just an amazing eyeliner. And it's very dark. And whenever I do my wing, you see this wing? It never comes off. Um, so yeah, I really like this eyeliner a lot. Um, for foundation, my favorite foundation, I've been trying a lot of foundations lately and this has to be my favorite. It is the L'Oreal Neutral Match Super Blendable Makeup um, SPF 17 in Honey Beige. This is amazing. It doesn't, I hate wearing foundation just because it makes, like you could see that I'm wearing foundation. I don't like that. I like to look natural. I don't really have to use foundation but I like to use it to cover up my freckles, the redness on my cheeks and everything and this actually does its job. It matches me very good. I, don't, I think the only reason why I don't like my other foundations is because it's a little too light. But this matches me perfectly. And this this foundation is amazing. And Nicole Guerrero also talks about this foundation. So, yeah, I love it. A lot of people like this one. Um, as for blushes, my favorite blush of all time has to be the Revlon Cream Blush in Berry Flirtatious. I think this is around $10.99, but I got it on sale. I would never spend $10.99 on a blush. So since it is $10.99 and it's not on sale anymore, I try not to use it that much, but this is my favorite just because um, it's a nice color and it's sheer. I don't like... Sometimes I like to just look natural and not like I have so much blush on and look like a clown. But that's the color there and once you blend it in, it's sheer. And it even says on the back. Wait one second. Hey. Wait. Okay. It even says on the back that it is... A touch and blend sheer natural color and it is but I just really like this blush a lot it's my favorite um, for eyebrows I love my elf eyebrow kit in medium I have that on my eyebrows now um, I don't really like to use pencils because I think it's a little too harsh on me I don't really know how to work with pencils but I've been wanting to try it out so I might actually purchase a brow pencil I'm not sure but this is my favorite um, it looks like this as you can see I don't use the powder at all I just use the gel and it just makes my eyebrows look very nice more full because my eyebrows are not full at all they're very thin um, but once I'm done with the cream I'm gonna start using the powder but I just really like this and this lasts a long time I've been having this for over a year now and I still have a lot more it's gonna last a long time um, now for lip products um, let's talk, talk about my favorite chapsticks first these are the Revo Well Out Walgreens chapsticks these are amazing they smell amazing they taste amazing the taste lasts on your lips all day long the moisturization is that even a word your lips are moisturized all day long and yeah I just really like that um, and I these are my all-time favorite um, I'm talking about three of them okay three brands the first one is wet and wild I have a lot of wet and wild ones and I have a lot of favorites but I'm just gonna talk about my all-time favorite which is sugar plum damn it which is sugar plum fairy it looks like this I am into like purpley dark vampy colors and this is amazing um, it looks like this I really like it it is matte a lot of people say that they're drying but for me they're not drying my lips aren't dried often just during the winter 
So this lipstick is amazing. It's very pigmented. It lasts all day long. It's like a stain. So I really like this. Um, the next one is the NYC, the NYC Expert Last Lip Color and Bury Me. Sorry, wait one second, guys. Here, baby. Oh. Uh oh, we go. Okay. <sighs> Bury Me. And this is actually a stain. They smell amazing. They're very cheap. I need to hurry. And it's that color there. And they stay on your lips all day long. And I just really like these. You guys should purchase them. They're like $1.99. And they're just amazing. You guys really need to go out and purchase them. Because they're pigmented. They last all day long. And they're like high-end lipsticks. They're just very good. So I really like that one. And then lastly... I have the L'Oreal, I don't even know what they're called, but I'm just saying that they're liquid lip stains. Um, these are $9.99, but I got one for $5.99, two of them for $5.99, and my husband bought me one too for Valentine's Day. So yeah, I have the color Infinite Fuchsia. I love all of these, and it has like a rose scent to it. And these stay on the lips all day long, literally. That's Infinite Fuchsia right here. Um, then I have Berry Persistent, which is probably my favorite out of all three. This right here is Berry Persistent. And then I have Endless Red, which this is like the best red lip color ever. Once it dries, it gets a little darker. I don't really like orange tone reds, but I thought I wasn't going to like this one. And this is the one my husband got me for Valentine's Day, but it dries like a darker red. So I really like this one. And if you guys do end up purchasing these, purchasing these and it looks kind of like blotchy on your lips, let me know if you guys would like um, me to show you how to apply them because there's a certain way that you have to apply them. And if you guys love YouTube as much as I do and watch so much videos you guys probably know how to apply them but if you guys don't know and you guys watch this video and want to know then let me know and I will for sure do a video on how to apply these it's not that hard at all but yeah I'll just let you guys go now I hope you like this video Ezzy and um I will talk to you guys later please request any videos that you guys would like to see because I would love to do some I have some that I want to do already I have an about me tag so you guys can get to know me a little better and yeah so I guess I'll just talk to you guys later I hope you guys really liked this video and I'll talk to you guys later. What did I already say that? I don't know. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!